I'm even smiling like this. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. This is my first video. And I know you guys have been waiting. I know it's been so long. I started this YouTube and I never posted a video. I'm so sorry. But we are back. We're not back. We just started. But it's gonna, we're just gonna go go for me i don't even know what to say but hey guys welcome to my channel my name is mariama sandra mustafa also known as my sandra and um i want to say thank you to everybody who took time to really subscribe to my channel and it mean it means so much because i haven't even put up a content yet and you guys really came through for me so it really that really really mean, means a lot to me and um as much as i really wanted to start this i was not really sure if it's something i was just like thinking thinking should i do it should i not do it so it's like it has been like that for so long and i feel like this past few days let me check the date so today is the 9th of july so since the beginning of this week and today is friday since the beginning of this week i have not been really feeling so good like not like physically just like mentally and emotionally i have been really really unstable and um i am um, during this period i really thought there are so many things i've always wanted to do youtube for once it's something i've really always wanted to do and i've never really got the chance to really put the the work in like put the effort in and really start to do it because it's something i want to do so i'm really so glad that i have pushed myself through it and then i'm making this video fingers crossed it's actually gonna go online i'm really gonna push myself to really post this video so <clears throat> it's not gonna be a tutorial it's not going to be a uh introduction video nothing like that and as much as i know most of you actually subscribe because of to um crochet tutorials but that's not the only thing i will be doing on this channel i've always wanted to do uh, have a youtube channel not just for crocheting and as much as i love crocheting there are so many other stuff i enjoy doing and I want to share that with you guys with you guys i really love my crocheting i want to show you guys there's so much more to me than just crocheting there's so much more things i enjoy doing and i want you guys to really like go through this journey with me of me really exploring and doing the things i really really like to do and i want to show the world so it's not going to be a tutorial like i said it's not going to be a introduction video like i said but it is going to do like it's gonna be like i wouldn't say a vlog but I'm currently working on this dress. I'm gonna like insert a picture of the of the design I saw on Instagram, the inspiration I got from it. And um, I'm currently I'm using this ball of yarn. I got it from uh, from um, what was the name of the place? From Vibra. I, by the way, I live in the Netherlands, so I go I get most of my my crochet stuff from the stores because I, I personally don't like online shopping except for buying clothes but when it comes to other stuff I just prefer to go especially when it comes to crochet stuffs I just prefer to go to the store myself and then I get to choose the color and the size and everything because it's way easier when you get stuff online you don't really know what to expect and sometimes the pictures don't really do justice or sometimes it's just it doesn't really work out for me so I personally go to stores to get all the things I need for my crochet stuff so I, I am currently using this yarn it is pink and it it's actually yeah it's pink <laughs> it's actually pink but it's like I think it's a is it cotton yeah it's a cotton yarn I'm really as much as I crochet a lot there's so much I need to learn and I feel like that I get messages like when are you gonna start teaching people how to crochet it's not like I don't want to but I feel like even as a crochet designer there's so much I really need to learn from about crocheting before I start 
teaching people so i will really know what i'm thinking i'm gonna say to people i i'm personally a self-taught crochet designer i didn't go to school it's like everything i'm doing is just because through my ideas so it's like so many stuff I really don't know so many stuff I keep teaching myself and learning as time time goes on so I really don't know that much about crocheting and uh, but I'm willing to teach you guys the, the ones I know because I guess the ones I know they are okay they're not that bad so I'm gonna I'm currently using this here and uh, it's it's actually it's actually a dress I can't even talk it's a dress and um, I don't know if you guys can see but um, it's a dub I'm using double crochet stitch and I started I think I started from because this is not the I, I already started working on this when I got the idea of making this video so it's not going to be a tutorial like I said it's so bad but maybe my next video will be a tutorial so let me guys let me know what you guys would like me to do maybe a skirt like a, a basic skirt or maybe a top let me know in the comments below and then the the comments with the, with the <coughs> highest like i'm gonna do a tutorial on that but for back to this dress so i'm making a dress because i have not been able to really explore and make new designs lately and i feel it's because of I crochet alone. I don't have anybody who, who helps me to work on my others and I for at the moment I really do have a lot of others. So in between me working on others I really really need to make time to like work on new designs because there's so much I really want to bring. So many ideas I really want to bring to life but through crochet but because of the time and everything I don't really get the opportunity to do those stuff. So back to the dress. So this is the design. Let me show you guys the design I'm really going for. It is actually so pretty. I saw it, I was like, no, I need to do this dress. But then in the crochet version, of course. So the dress, I don't think it's that clear. But I'm going to put an a picture of the dress here. It's a white dress. And then in between here is this line in the middle. A line at the side and another line at the side. And I think there's no, the picture, there's no picture of the back but i think the back is the same so this is what i've been trying to like ex execute with this particular project and if you can see well there is this like it's not even a line it's like a treble i think i did a is it called treble crochet pardon me like i said i really don't know like the crochet terms and everything so i think i, I did tre treble crochet on the sides in the middle and the two sides just for me to get a line that the original designs design have because that's what I, I was actually going for and i started from i think i started with my measurement i started from right under my armpit so like this i started from here and then i walked downwards to till under my bust i don't know if you guys can see i started from here and then i went down to till under my bust and then afterwards I started again I came up and then I started doing the up till the shoulders I still need to add a few inches of the shoulders but for now I'm just like working on the back on the down side of the dress so I'm going down trying to like increase on the hips because I personally my body is like this part is a little bit big this is small and then my hips is a, a a little bit big so that's how my body is so for that reason i most of my projects i have to like increase and decrease increase and decrease just to get the dress to really fit my body and see and just to get the dress to fit my body because that's that's that is just how it should be and um but for this particular dress there is something special about it i've always always wanted to do wanted to add zip to my to my designs zip <clears throat> just because it's somehow sometimes it's difficult to go through your go through my design just because it's it's a yarn so the sometimes I, I personally use most of my most of the hooks I use are like tiny hooks so for that reason there is stretch to my to my designs but at the same time it's just sometimes so difficult to get even normal clothes I feel like it's difficult to get through them if it, if it doesn't have like a zip or somewhere 
like an opening somewhere so it's actually quite difficult to get into the clothes without zip and opening so what I've decided to do is let me have some water sorry guys I really need to do it. so back to what I was saying what I've decided to do is to add zip for the first time I'm excited I really cannot wait to like execute this because it's something I've really wanted to do so what I've decided to do is add zip, but I'm going to add zip to the back of the dress. So this is the front of the dress. I still have to walk all the way down to get the length that I want. And then afterwards I add the, the is it called fringe? F guys, you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. But what I've decided to do is like walk at the, with, add zip to the back of the dress. So, and because of the zip, I might walk this dress is the front part is going to be like a full front part and because of the zip i want to add to the back i will have to make like two separate back so the zip will be right at the middle i don't know if it makes sense i'm really going to like try to get you get you guys through the process of doing this dress so you guys can see how long it takes me i started this this top i think was it yesterday so i started this yesterday and uh Hopefully I'll be able to finish this the front part of this dress today and then tomorrow I'm gonna start with one side of the back and then another side of the back and then I'll try to put the zip right in the middle. So this is let, let me just let's just assume this is the front, this is the back, sorry. So this is the middle, this is the, where I want to put the zip all the way down to my butt area. So because of that I have to leave an opening. And I don't personally don't want to do that. I might also continue to walk like a f like the back, like a full way. And then when I get to my butt side, I then I can separate the two sides. I might do that or I might just do two separate back and then sew the ends together and then add the zip together. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But that was what I wanted to bring you guys along with me. And for this project, I'm using a 1.50 millimeter hook. Just because I really love working with smaller hooks, it takes a lot of time and I get a lot of questions like how do you get your stuff to like get be smaller, not to be see-through. Personally, I use smaller hooks just because I love the finished product even though it's going to take me a long time to work on. I just love how it's going to look at the end of the day so I put in the work. You have to put in the work. So that's it for now. I'm going to continue to work on this. I'm going to continue to increase because now I have to increase for my butt area and afterwards I'm going to decrease a bit just because my my body goes like this and then this. So it goes this and this. So I have to increase till I get under my butt area and afterwards I decrease few for few rows and then afterwards I'm done with the front panel. I'm going to finish this, get back to you guys, show you guys what I have and then we start working on the back. I might work on the back with you guys depends i don't want this video to be super long it might be super long because i really want to show you guys how the dress is also going to look with on not just the process i want you guys to see the finish product as well so i'll see you guys in a bit i might see you guys tomorrow i don't know how long this is going to take me because i currently i have like um currently the top the dress is 22 inches and I want it to be around 35 inches so I have like, like 13 inches more to go so this might take me the whole day and it's currently it's currently 235 so it might take me the whole day if not I might see you guys later in the day if not I'll just see you guys tomorrow but take care and see you guys hey guys so um i um today is the next day the 8th today is saturday so i was supposed to come back to you guys yesterday but i i passed out i was so tired after working on the front set of the front panel i was really really tired and then i decided to sleep and today is the next day we're going to work on the back panel but then i just thought i should come and show you guys because that was what i wanted to do in the first place 
so this is the front panel I don't know if you guys can see it very well because I'm using natural light so it might be a little bit should I move back a bit so this is how the front panel looks I hope the length is you guys can see how long it's not really that long but it's supposed to be it's not supposed to be that long either so this is how it looks all the way looks the front and um, I started working on the back before I passed out yesterday because I actually did I almost so tired but I started working on the back and like I said there was an option for me to work on the back from down like a full back or work on two separate sides and I decided to work on two separate sides just because at this side I left a little bit of space for the zip because I told you guys I wanted to add zip for like a zip allowance and then this is the rest of the back so from here on I'm gonna increase decrease like I told you guys that's I, I do a lot of increase and decreasing just to get the perfect fit for the dress so I'm gonna work on the two back panel and then I think I'm gonna see you guys when I'm when I'm adding the zip I might it's not gonna be a tutorial like I said so I'm not really gonna show you guys how to I might because this is gonna be my first time adding zip to crochet item so maybe I'll show you guys and see because I, I'm definitely going to be struggling with that but I know I'm gonna make it I know it's really gonna come out well if it doesn't then it's fine we can redo it or we can improvise with something else but I'm very sure it's gonna come out well so I'm gonna work on the two panel and then I'll see you guys later hey guys so it's actually um, Monday morning so I spent the whole weekend working on this dress I just sewed everything together this is how it looks from the back so hey guys I just wanted to like come in return and let you guys know I couldn't put the zip I couldn't find the right zip and I was just too lazy to go to the market because I wanted to finish it and see how it, it was gonna look so I couldn't put the zip so hopefully we're gonna finally get to get the a project that has a zip on it but this dress doesn't have a zip even though I wanted to put a zip on it so badly yes and on the, on the armpit hole and then on the bottom because we still have to do a bit but I'm gonna touch this side a little bit for a nice I don't know if it's because of the bra I'm wearing maybe that's the reason why it's a bit not doing well I don't know or maybe this is just big and I need to like adjust it a bit and I'm gonna do that and um, I'll show you guys what I end up with yep hey guys um, <laughs> so this is what I go after like adjusting the size of the dress it wasn't perfect like I want it to be but I feel like that was okay I think I went in later on and then I did some few adjusting because the side was not like doing what it was supposed to do so I went in later on and did a little bit of adjusting to the waist because the waist was a bit big and I didn't like the way it was fitting even in this video and I don't know what I was doing I was just dancing <laughs> this was the final dress guys i couldn't get a good video of it but this is how it looks i love the way it came out and in the next clip you actually see what the dress looks like on me i really love it and then you guys obviously some people love it on my instagram when i posted it this is the dress this is how it looks from the bottom to the top i love it i'm obsessed i hope you guys are let me know what you guys want to see next. Kindly subscribe and like this video so I will know you guys like contents like this. Thank you.